Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry here with another Tabletop Ready Tips for the rest of us where I run you through some quick and dirty tips to get your stuff tabletop ready. Uh, in the last episode I mentioned briefly that I was thinking about doing some vehicles. Well today I am going to go over some drop pods. Um, so first off, a uh, couple things I want to note here. I've already put together the drop pod obviously. I've already primed it black. That was step one after building it. I'm not going to go through that with you guys because it's pretty obvious. Step two was I was using my favorite red spray paint again, the Army Red uh, what is it? Color Primer Dragon Red from Army Painter stuff. Again, don't work for these guys, but I really love this stuff. It works great for my Blood Angels, how I do them. Um, you might find some different stuff, but step two, base coat. That's what the spray paint's for. So, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. A um, couple things I want to note too about the construction. If you notice here, I don't include the middle part because that thing is a pain in the butt and I don't like the way it looks. So these are my models, I'll do what I like. So there you go. <laughs> With that out of the way, uh, I want to talk one more quick tip here, and this is the secret sauce for this episode, which is don't glue the drop pod base to the drop pod fence. So once you're done with the building step, uh, you should be able to quickly, boom, detach that. So now you've got the fins, as you can see here, and you've got the, the flower. So um, yeah. So that's my quick tip. Uh, makes it fast for storage, makes it way easier for painting uh, during this tutorial. So um, next step up, I'm going to take some brown paint and uh, I'm gonna make this part all silver and, and dirty and rusty like I do. So what I'm gonna do is hit this part up with brown. I'm gonna make sure to get the inside thin parts too and uh, the turbine if I remember. So uh, every part that's gonna be metal basically, you're gonna hit with that brown paint. So. I'm going to go pause and go knock that out. Okay, so we're back. I just finished painting up uh, the model with um, the drop pod with the, the brown paint. As you can see, uh, all the dark spots here that I left black have now got a nice dirty mix of brown. This step is not a step you have to be super neat on. Just for record, I'm using some GW uh, Scorch Brown brown that I have laying around, so I'm using that. Whatever the base conversion is, that's what you want to use. Um, I did the drop pod as well, the, the fin part. Um, it's all brown on the inside. I didn't do the Durban yet, so let me show you what I do real quick for that. I just take a dab of uh, dab of brown paint here, get the brush nice and dirty. I'm gonna actually wipe off a little of that. Okay, wipe that off. Then I just stick the brush in the center here and just kind of swirl it around, make sure you got semi good coverage because uh, this is all gonna be metal anyway. But this is just to get that nice undercoat of brown for the uh, for the rust effect. So. Okay, next up, I'm gonna let that dry. Um, let that sit, it's gonna take five, 10 minutes to dry. Uh, I'm gonna clean this brush off real fast, but the next step is I'm gonna hit this all up with some bulk gun metal or whatever the metal equivalent is these days. I'm gonna dry brush all the brown with the bulk gun metal. We are back and I just finished dry brushing everything as you can see. Uh, now again, same steps as some of the other other uh, brown to bulk gun metal look. So uh, yeah, just quick dry brush on there. Um, you can be pretty sloppy this step. You don't want to hit the red, obviously, but uh, yeah, got the top part of that. As you can see, um, the middle. You're still going to have that brown kind of shine through, which is what you want if you're going for this look like I am. Um, you get the uh, ridges inside, obviously, all those as well. So um, nice and uh, quick step. Uh, the next step, we are going to hit it up with the black wash. So if you've got some nano oil, some dab black laying around, you still have whatever your preferred method of the uh, black wash. We're gonna hit it up, just hit all the metal parts up with the black wash and let that set. So I'm just back after letting the dry wash, or the, sorry, the black wash set. Uh, it is done, it's dry, it's ready to go. Um, you can see that brought all the browns and the silvers all in the, uh, together, kind of blended it all in. So it's got that nice dirty look. I mean, this thing's dropping from space, so um, I'm sure there's gonna be ash marks and dirtiness all over the place. At this point, um, you could say they're done. You would just put this back on top and then it's tabletop ready technically. Uh, you got a three color minimum standard there and it, it, it works. But uh, I'm gonna go the extra mile here. I'm gonna add some detail work. So the next step I'm gonna do is take, take the fins and on the inside I'm gonna put black um, inside this line here uh, to kind of offset the, you know, the secondary color to black and red. So uh, I wanna use that. I wanna add some, some detail work there. There's other places you can add detail work. There's extra piping, stuff like that. Uh, anything you want to pick out to make the model look even cooler, 
Um, it's your model, do what you want. But this, the point of this is just to get it tabletop ready. So one more step and then we'll call it done. So I'm back here. I just finished the black on the drop pod sides, as you can see here. I also went ahead and lined it, uh, lined the, the drop pod with my handy dandy Faber-Castell micro uh, pens here with the felt tips. Makes it super easy, super fast. What I recommend, just put something on TV, whatever, while you're, while you're lining. Makes the time go by way quicker. So it's all put together there. And uh, again, line this. Uh, don't forget this part too, it's on the bottom. So, um, but uh, yeah, that's still inside. I went ahead and uh, lined the sides there too, as you can see. Um, let me put it all together for the real quick shot, and then uh, that's it. And there you have it, folks. The assembled drop pod, uh, painted, ready, tabletop, good to go. Uh, just close her up the sides. Uh, the the fins part should snap right in just fine. Uh, drop pods will snap shut still, so there you go. There's my finished Blood Angels drop pod. Um, that's it for this Tabletop Ready with Adam Harry and Bowles, presented by Bowles. If you guys have any questions, comments, drop, some, drop them below. Thanks again for watching. This is Adam Harry from Bowles, signing off. Have a good one.